Welcome to the Missouri Business Podcast. The show is chock full of insight on what it's like to start, stop, and drive a thriving business in our great state. Each episode, we'll dive into the mind of a Show Me State business owner so you can avoid their mistakes and glean their expertise for your gain. Now, here's your host, John Piazza Norton. Main Street Business Mentor back with the Missouri Business Podcast. Today we are at Land of Music with Aaron Old. He has been here. Old is not what he is. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> Getting there. That, all right. Uh, but he has been here a while. Yeah. Uh, from start from the bottom, now you're here. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Land of Music's been here for how many years? 42. 42. He hasn't been here the whole time, but mm-hmm. it's been here for 42 years. And we're going to talk about his journey. Talk about three things that he wished would uh, could occur, would occur with the business, and uh, let's jump right into it. So, what what about you? How did you end up here doing what you're doing? Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I never set out to be a business owner. I never never thought that I would own a music store. It right. Was, um, and actually, I didn't start out even playing music until I was 16. I had a, a older brother, a younger sister that both into music. Yeah. I wanted to do sports. And so naturally, I'm the one who ended up in the world of music. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, 16, I started playing the guitar, really fell in love with it. Yeah. Ended up going on studying music at Missouri Western. Okay. And so just had a real passion for music and got a job through Lanham's giving guitar lessons and then worked in doing part-time sales and from there just you know did a little bit of everything yeah and eventually um was working 40 hours a week selling and <laughs> part and part-time this part-time job right. taking a long time right. i just i tell people all i wanted to do was play the guitar and make music and yeah. then now like i don't have a whole lot of time to, to do that music. because yeah i'm busy running a business well, but, a nice nice stage we're right here inside of Atlanta Music right now. Um, this is a new addition. Yes. Okay. And when do you guys utilize this space? So many of our friends that are musicians, performing musicians, they don't have anywhere to play. Right. So we just started inviting a musician in every Friday. Uh, we close at six and we have them come in a little before six. We would live stream it through our Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a nice thing. We get to utilize the space. So let's do a little breakdown of, uh, first of all, where we're at. Address. 2401 North Belt Highway. Yes. You passed it many a times. Yes. Most people, I use the, the ice cream shop. You have to use Pink ice cream. Yeah. yeah, we're just north of that on the opposite side of the belt, right across from Eckerd's Flooring. Right. Eckerd's has been there a long time, too. So. Um, Facebook page? Yes. Land of Music? Land of Music. That up. Should be good? Page. Yes. Landofmusic.com is our website. Gotcha. Um, and on the website, we're able to order things online as well? Right now, we're actually constructing a new site. Gotcha. So it'll be a much better yes. website. Uh, so currently, as of this week, there's not a buy button on there, but people can at least see what we have in stock. Good call. They can call us. Sure. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. So yeah, we did the curbside pickup all that while we were shut down. Yeah, so good. people utilize the site, but hopefully it will still gotta work. I mean, you, you gotta figure it out. Yeah. I appreciate that. What is the phone number? Phone number is 816-233-5142. Awesome. Are you ready for your first wish? First wish. Yeah. Sure. You're only gonna get three. So okay. You're gonna come. If you could wish for people to know something about this business and what you what you need them to know before they got here, mm-hmm. what would you wish they knew before they walked in the door? If this qualifies as an answer, I, people seem to be surprised when they find out the different things that we offer. Okay. Uh, so I guess the diversity of, of what we do here. Yes. Um, a lot of times people think of us as a guitar store okay. or, or just like guitar and drums and um, but beyond that, we do the lessons. Mm-hmm. We rent band instruments. Okay. So we have a, a really good sized rental program for band and orchestra. Gotcha. So that's a big part of our business. Uh, and then 
audio and video systems. We install those for churches and schools. Okay. So Did you hear the surprise? Yeah. I didn't know that. So yeah. I, I get it. No, it's good. The second wish is. I mean, you did build this, so I don't, we'd probably take this with us. But if, if there was a place you could move to ideally here, if there was a different place, or there's something else you could do to this building, mm -hmm. what would you wish physically you could do to make your business better? Uh, I wish we had more space. Really? Really. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wish the venue space was bigger. Yeah. I mean, this is really nice, but... Um, I think there's just lots of room to expand and we seem a little bit cramped with our storage. Like I mentioned, our, our band and orchestra rental yeah. program, I've already had to take over one of our lesson rooms and put shelves in it for violas and cellos. Gotcha. Um, so I think the biggest thing, I'm, I'm real happy with where we are mm -hmm. on the Belt Highway, um, happy with the building. I think just a little extra space would be nice. Gotcha. Well, I mean, you got the strip mall right out there. You just keep, That's true. Just keep plucking them off and build shelves in those true. things. I do. I do eyeball and I <laughs> see you do. the spot get open. Yeah. Gotta get storage right there. I know. Right out the door. I love it. Um, and the third wish, I don't like telling people what to wish for. So, if there's one thing besides COVID that we could fix for you right now to make your business better, what would it be? What would you wish for? I think for me, what what I really try uh, to get people to realize is the importance of shopping small and local. Um, listen, listen and, to this guy. He's so, got it. <laughs> so, uh, and I know a lot of people really do. I think a lot of people really appreciate coming into a business where, uh, and we know half our customers by name when they walk in the door, and, right. and people. Uh, appreciate that, but also I mean, just all the positive things that come from shopping small and local as opposed to buying something online. Yes. Because um, there, there is a, a good majority, or not a majority, but a good portion of people that still just have the mindset that they're going to go online and buy it and they don't care from who. Um, but that money is just leaving our community yep. and I, I hate to see empty buildings I feel fortunate that we have uh, a good community of musicians that really support playing on music. Right. Um, but I know that we could be doing better, um, and then that that opens up opportunities for us to to help out our community too. Because right. nobody cares about the community like the people who live there. So, right. um, yeah, myself and all the employees we live here, we shop here. So I think that's probably the big thing. I, I like to see our community thrive. And, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I appreciate what you're doing. I mean, that's, that's my, that's obviously my goal. Yeah. But Landon Music's up to is selling instruments Yes. and helping folks and getting their website where it needs to be so you can do it that way too if right. you're not comfortable. Um, Aaron's always been great. I really appreciate you. Um, come by and see them. They're open hours. Monday through Thursday, 10 to 8, yep. Friday's 10 to 6, and then Saturday's 10 to 5. 10 to 5. And so come check them out, whatever you're little musician, or if you are not so little <laughs> musician, yeah. come, come on by uh, Walls and Walls and Guitars. You, you say that people only know you for that. You, they should be known for that. They, they've got quite a selection here, so you definitely want to check that out as well. Um, again, Aaron Old. Yes. Land of Music. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Again, I'm John Piazza Norton with the Missouri Business Podcast, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Missouri Business Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, MissouriBusinessPodcast.com, where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher so you get the ding when the next one is out. And if you have a question to pose on the show, just shoot us a comment on the website or like the John Piazza Norton Facebook fan page for direct access. Be sure to tune in next time when we squeeze the brain of another business leader for your benefit. Talk is cheap. I'm from Missouri. You have got to show me. See you next time.